In this video, I'm going to be taking you inside my mind and showing you why I do exactly what I do in a live head-to-head -head weekend league matchup in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden player they can become. And if you want to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel, and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here in the channel. All right, guys. Now, in this video, we are talking specifically about you know my favorite um, nickel three three five wide defense. I think the the four six defense and the three nickel packages, nickel three three five, nickel normal, and nickel um, three three five wide. My personal opinion are the best um, the best you can possibly get on defense in this game. Um, that's just my opinion. Um, I really think it's a very, very powerful defense. And so you're going to see that I'm going to, I'm going to really play it a lot, uh, in this game play, uh, here he's going to go trying to go up top over the top. We're going to be able to get that nice pick with Sean Springs. Uh, I am running a little, um, Washington theme team. I'm actually going to probably shift that though, uh, and maybe run some other ones. I got to look at the different types of theme teams that I could run. Um, I'm probably going to get away from Washington. I might shift over to Atlanta. We'll see what happens. Um, but I just got risk rid of, uh, I just got rid of RG three. And the reason why I got rid of RG three is because his passing, his, throwing release is just not good and i need a quarterback that can throw the ball well so i ended up getting rid of him and um and now i really like to use uh brett Favre. so i might shift back to a falcons theme team we'll see what happens here um but a little cor little curl flat here to start um i'm actually looking also at maybe putting more abilities on my offensive line i've been getting shedded like crazy this weekend uh running this running this stuff so we'll see what happens but anyways um, I'm running the trips tight end on offense. If you want to get both, if you want to get my offense or you want to get the, if you want to get the exact offense that I'm running in this game, or if you want to get the exact defense that I'm running in this game, uh, you can get both of those in the description below. Okay. So I'm going to leave a link down below and you can get both of those. Um, they're going to be linked down below for you. You can get the offense for 10 bucks and you can get the defense for, uh, I think 15 bucks right there. A little easy drag, just kind of simple, keeping things in front of us. I'm starting to get a little bit more comfortable with trips tight end. You know, I think the thing is with any offense, you need to have, you know, you need to have reps. Um, that's what's really important here. It looks like he's going to shift to some man coverage. Um, so this should be an automatic absolute laser over the top. George Kittle, nice catch over the top. We're actually going to no huddle if we possibly can, um, just because we can keep him in this and see what he does. Okay, he's going to check out. So we're going to check to a run here and uh, just kind of see what happens. A little quick base. Just kind of see what his defense is like for that. Um, I'm running New England on offense. I'm running uh, and I'm running four six on defense. My zone drops when I run match. I don't use zone drops, but when I run zone drops, typically they're 30, 10, and five on defense. Um, 30 flats, curl flats 10, and uh, hook curls five is normally what I rock with. So uh, anyway, right here he's actually giving us a really good look for this base. So I'm gonna try to hit it. Uh, try to hit it again. A little stutter step and uh, able to put myself in a decent position. The base is really the number one reason why I run New England. I mean, there's multiple reasons, but it's got a base run. It's got a nice little bubble screen. I need to use that bubble screen more. Um, but anyway, right here, you're gonna see, I'm gonna go, um, I'm gonna go to a little PA counter go right here. And I need to release him there. And that's why Brett Favre is so good. Because if that was RG3, more than likely that'd probably be a sack. Um, because I have Brett Favre, I'm able to complete that pass, not have to worry about anything, and keep the chains moving. That's a, that's that, that's the difference between a sack, you know, and an in a easy dot. And and for me, you know, when you start playing, for, you know, you start playing better players and you start getting into it, you know, you don't need RG. In my just opinion, you don't need RG3. Um, you need a quarterback. This is the way I play because I'm a pocket passer. I need a quarterback that can get the ball off like quick that's what i need and so i've got brett Favre with and i actually souped him up i've got um I, i'm I've, i'm got uh on his abilities i've got inside dead eyes set feet lead um i think i've got some other ones i've got obviously gunslinger uh quick draw so i've got a lot of different things um that are designed to kind of help him a little bit Right here, this is kind of quickly becoming one of my favorite red zone plays, this little version of curl flat. I really like this motion over because it's going to leave that right there. See how much of a lane that left? Now, if his user is over there, that's one thing, but 
um, you know, able to kind of able to kind of do that. Another little tip for this offense is to I actually like to run this as my my goal line offense. I think it's got the I, I just think it has everything that you need from a goal line perspective. So like right here, you see he comes out goal line. So then I can easily, you know, I can do some things. Quick base should work against goal line. Yep. As you can see right there, easy touchdown. And we're on the board. So good stop on defense. I talk about this all the time in these inside the bind tutorials that whenever, if the first thing that you need to do, first tip that I have is always to make sure that before you go into a game, you've set it up so that you can kick the ball if you win the coin toss. That's the number one thing that I think will help people win more games. Um, it just gives you a much better positioning, uh, much, much better uh, opportunity to be able to, you know, work the clock a little bit. But, uh, and, and just that gives you, I think it gives you a significant advantage in this game. So um, just because of the time, because of how long the games are, um, to me, it just gives you a big advantage. So first tip is to always select to kick if possible. Okay. So on defense, like I said, I'm running the 3-3-5 wide. If you want to get the guide, it's in the description for just 15 bucks. But what we're talking about, um, what you're going to see is we're going to kind of sit. Um, we're going to kind of sit in these zone drops as long as we possibly can. Um, as long as we possibly can. A little crossing route. And that's good defense. That's, that's, that's pretty good defense right there. We're taking away one of the... One of the most powerful passing concepts in the game. It looks like he's going to continue to go to it here. And right here, we're going to actually sit. Um, and that was actually probably a bad play call by me. Undisciplined in my run defense. And he ends up popping me for a nice little gain with Le'Veon Bell. There we go. Got our setup in. And he's going to go to the inside zone again. Got some good blocking there. I haven't faced a lot of this formation, so it'll be interesting to kind of see how it goes. Uh, here, we're just going to go with kind of more of a meta setup out of the cover three. And he always got Michael Vick back there. I thought he had, for some reason, I thought seven was, was uh, Ben Roethlisberger. There's a little PA cross. Nice contain. Keeping Vic in the pocket. Perfect job by Zadarius Smith. That's a huge sack fumble. And um, now we're going to put him in a fourth down and long position. Looks like he's going to try to do so. I don't know if he's just trying to get the clock down. But he is going to take that to the two-minute warning. Now, right here, you got to think he's going to punt. If he goes for this, this is crazy. But it does look like he is going to go for it. So, yeah, we're just going to blitz everybody. Try to contain Vic a little bit. I'm going to use her on this right side. Right there. Yep, easy sack. And that's why Mike Blitz 3 is so... Or that's why... Not just Mike Blitz 3, but the entire 3-5 three, three, wide defense is so daggone good. Now, right here, I'm not trying to score... I'm not trying to score a touchdown. Um, I'm actually I'm actually perfectly content uh, with taking a field goal. If I score a touchdown, great. But I want the biggest and most important thing here, because these games are shorter is I want to take as much clock as I possibly can. That's the biggest thing that I want to accomplish on this on this thing. So you're going to see a lot of quick base. Um, you're going to see that I'm going to, you know, maybe set up some some runs out of the out of the goal line here. Um, you know, this is this is where, you know, we want to just be able to put our clock hats on a little bit and kind of just force our opponent to have to, you know, have to go into half down two possessions and then have to get another stop. Um, I just think it's, I think it's a smart decision. So again, here, just quick base. I put it on conservative. Hopefully I don't fumble. Um, now he's not, he's choosing not to call his timeouts here, uh, which is benefiting us drastically. Um, right here, I'm probably going to stick with quick base. Honestly. Yeah, I'm probably going to stick with quick base here. He'll probably call a timeout right after this, but we'll just see if we can get this. Oh, gosh, I did not know I was passing. Oh, I'm going to have to take a sec. Crap. I didn't know I was passing. <laughs> I thought I had audible down to quick base, and I didn't. So a little mental mistake there. Uh, and there, you know, again, we're on conservative. I could have just fallen down as well. If the way you do that is you hold, um, you click left trigger, and you click your right joystick in, like you click it in. 
and that'll that'll make you fall down there but anyways this puts us in a decent spot now he's got plenty of time to go down and get three um he does have plenty of time to go down and get three we've got to be disciplined on defense to you know force you know not make any mental mistakes here um let's see it's gonna roll 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 a lot of people have been going with that strategy to try to get it back to that 25 but that's a risky that's a risky strategy maybe if i kick it a little shorter um it won't go in the end zone we'll have a chance to recover that all right starting off right here we're just going to stay simple cover three he's going to run it and we're going to let him we're not we're not worrying too much about the run yet um and just because of the time on the clock um, if he wants to run inside zone for, you know, 10 yards uh, and take off that many seconds, that's fine with us. So, see, the biggest thing we're worried about is that right there. That's a big sack. And now you see that we've kind of worked him into this position of, okay, it's, you know, whatever. It's 10 nothing. Um, you've got 17 seconds, and I get ball at half. So, this is a pretty good position to be in. And it looks like he's going to go to gun doubles. Uh, we're just going to simply stay with what we've been doing. Uh, we're not going to do anything different. We're going to contain a little bit more. Just try to keep everything in front of us. we got to watch the tight end ourselves. Um, but as you see here, everything bagged pretty much. A little post. And this little bomb over the top. We almost pick it off. I kind of thought that's what he was going toward. That's kind of my big thing that I've got to do defensively on this. It's if I see something like that where he can bomb, I've got to make sure that I'm watching out for that. That's That's a big, big deal. Uh, so much so that I think right here we're actually going to deep half both of our outside guys just to make sure that we don't get burned over the top. We've got that route. We're going to go back on the, on top of this. We're going to send the spy here. And again, we're just trying to force him to do something like what he just did and almost caught it. But, you know, so far we've got him over for 4. Defense has been playing pretty solid. Offense has been playing good. And now this is really, really important right now. I'm going to set the controller down. And I'm going to wait. You see here, I'm not selecting my play. This is such a small little thing. But I want to. I just always want to highlight this because it's so important. Now you see at the bottom left corner here, it says defense pick a play. We are technically on defense when we're on the kick return team. And so we don't have to pick our play first. And so I just always like to wait like that. And the biggest reason why is because I don't want to get some kind of random person coming out an onside kick and I'm not able to do it and I have to burn a second half time out or something like that. I think that is so, so important and so underrated and, and, and just something that I've personally had to learn the hard way, right? I'm guilty of it just as much as anybody is. So right here, um, this is why, and this is the whole reason why um, you saw me do what I did at the end of the half. So now we're in a, a situation where if we can go down and, and score, this is where I'm going to go to one of my favorite, favorite setups right here. Uh, I love this setup. This is my little, uh, just a, a simple little yard gainer. You can do it with all hot routes pretty much. But what you're going to see here is, again, it's just simple, right? If he runs man, I've got the post. That's a good dot right there to George Kittle. But the big thing that I want to emphasize here is this is a big drive. This is a closeout drive. Um, that's what this is. If I go down and score seven and go up by three possessions, to me that is huge. And I just want to keep that, you know, at the forefront of my mind. I don't want to try to – I'm willing to take sacks. I'm willing, but, but really what I want to try to do is I want to try to go score a touchdown on this drive at all costs. So uh, right here we're going to check down to that quick base, uh, just see if we can pop it. Nice little defense by Leroy Glover right there. And now we're going to go back. We're actually going to go back to that yard gainer, uh, but we're actually going to do it out of – uh, this play right here, and we're going to use some protection. This is really an, one of my favorite little concepts, little curls and just a little underneath right there. Sits right in the zone. See, if they have zone drop set, or if they even if they don't have zone drop set, um, if they're playing like hard flats and stuff where they're jetting out trying to stop these quick flats, that's going to happen a lot. So... Right here, I'm going to go to another kind of version of the same concept. And again, we're just trying to kind of force him um, to have to kind of respect these underneath routes. We're really looking right here for that square receiver, just like that little quick dot. That's one of my favorite little quick dots in the entire game um, because it's just – this is one of the beauties of trips tied in is that the spacing is so much – just so effective. 
Uh, it's really, really hard to play zone coverage against this, this offense. And right here, we're going to move this again. Kind of just keep it really simple. Little hitches, little curls uh, right there. Easy spacing concepts right now on this drive. Just kind of working up and down the field. And this is, a, this is exactly what we want. Because the other thing about these little baby dots um, that you're seeing that I'm putting on here uh, is this is taking a ton of time off the clock. Um, that's really another reason as to why this is important. Now you can use this little curl right here. You're going to see I'm going to use a curl to the tight end instead of a post. Uh, you can use that as well um, for these little spacing concepts. Here we're going to have to scramble a little bit, a little playmaker. Um, and you know what? We're just going to go down. We're just going to take the sack. Um, we probably had some stuff we could have like tried to fit into windows, but we're just going to take the sack. We're in a good spot right now. Uh, again, up two possessions. We're going to take some clock a little bit with us here. Um, I'm going to go to one of my uh, – actually, you know what? We're going to check in a quick base. We're in – ran out of time. And we're just going to check in a quick base here. Good D by him. That was probably bad stick. I thought I – I forgot I was on conservative on that. So in this situation right here, you know, this is this is one of those things where it's like he's in a decent spot, but we're in a decent spot as well. We're going to go to this uh, PA counter go. And we're going to run it uh, a little bit different. So try to kind of keep our protection, keep ourselves in field goal range here. And we're going to release that delay fade. Another good throw by Brett Favre, and that puts us in a decent spot. Now, this is a little bit of a decision. Um, you know, again, depending on, on, on your train of thought, we're going to at least look at it. We might go for it here um, just because we're technically already up by two possessions. Now, again, you know, there's some train of thought. You know, conventional wisdom probably would say to kick a field goal here. Um, the reason I'm going to potentially go for this is just on based on look. If he gives me a look that I like, um, then I will go for it. If he doesn't, then we'll probably take our three. We'll take a delay a game or something uh, and take our three. It's like right here. See, like something like that. So now we put ourselves in an opportunity where we can now get some a defense like this, which is perfect defense, um, to go for it. So we're just going to go for it here. See what he's doing. He actually played pretty good defense. We're going to playmaker, and that's okay. That's okay. So good job by him. We probably ran a bad route combo, to be honest. I kind of thought he was in like a like a send send everybody blitz, but you know, he ended up playing pretty decent defense. I probably gave him a little bit too much time to adjust his defense too. But anyway, here we fully gotta expect. And I kind of messed up my adjustments. Nice little dot. He almost threw it. I mean he almost dotted me right there. So good good route by my opponent. Good juke. So on defense, really what we're trying to do is we're just trying to keep everything in front of us. Now, it's likely that we're going to actually shift to this defense because of the look that he's given us. A little Mabel coverage. Just kind of forced Michael Vick to have to work a little bit. And that's why we did that right there. And, I mean, I almost caught it. But you see, I mean, he's, he's, he's shown us that really what he wants to do is he wants to get out of the pocket and he wants to make make reads, right? Um, like he wants to kind of make, you know, big things happen outside of the pocket. So we're just trying to contain him. That's all we're trying to do. We're just we're in complete contain Vic mode, um, just keeping him in the pocket. See, we're going to send it every time, just like that. Simple, and there's just nowhere for him to go. And that's the beauty of a defense like this. And again, this is a really simple defense. We talk about this in the in the defensive guide. There's multiple different defenses that we have um, depending on uh, the opponent. Sometimes this defense is what's going to work well. Sometimes it's the match defense. Sometimes it's the man-to-man uh, -man that they're going to struggle with, right? It, it, it's all different things. Right there, I probably could have tried to ball hawk that. I was going for the hit stick knockout, but he ended up possession catching it. And so he's kind of, you know, making some reads, making some plays here. But if you look at the top right, we're keeping everything in front of us. We're keeping everything in front of us. There's really no bombs that he can go to. 
just based on the routes that he has. And so he's had, if he was in like a bunch or a bunch tight end or a trips tight end or even a spread set where he, I had to respect uh, his ability to bomb me a little bit more out of this Mike Blitz three, I would, you know, maybe change some things up. But these outside thirds actually are really good against like kind of these little junkyard routes, little things like this. Um, the outside thirds, I think, do a, a little bit better of a job against things where they're like rolling out and stuff like that. So, and he's running a lot of post, um, like post crossing, post crossers. Like that's that's his main concept. So again, we're just keeping Vic in the pocket, keeping him in the pocket, drifting, just kind of keeping everything in front of us here, and that's okay. You see, he's throwing, he's throwing like tight windows. He's having to throw everything into a tight window, pretty much, and it's having to be, you know, like garbage time almost. So that's a little bit of what we're doing. Now, what we're gonna do right here is we're actually gonna shift up on him just a smidge, and. The reason why is because I want to be able to send some pressure at him, but I want to be able to do it in a way that gives him also a little bit of a different coverage shell. So you're going to see right here, we're going to go to this little Mike Blitz 3, but we're going to send some pressure and we're in a decent, trying to just kind of keep him, you know, in the pocket a little bit in there. That's bad user. I could have taken that away. So good route by him. Um, little slant there throws right into me because that's what we're looking for there we go and there's the pick and that's gonna that's gonna pretty much seal it like if we can get maybe a pick six out of this with mike evans they'll stop and go we are gonna be able to get a pick six that's gonna pretty much seal it we're gonna be up three possessions with only one minute and 22 seconds left so that's how you kind of manage the clock well against somebody um that clearly you're probably a little bit better of a player than um but you kind of have to you know whenever you're playing guys like this you got to be able to win consistently you got to be able to beat who you're supposed to beat every time and this is one of the ways you can do that thanks for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and if you want to get access to the exact offense and defense i ran they are both linked down in the description